What's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm opening the Transformers Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Starscream. Now, this is not a review, this is just an opening, so I wanted to put that out there. But uh, yes, I got this figure, and uh, we are going to go ahead and open it. I love the design for Starscream. Yes, it's a little wonky in some places, but it looks more like the classic design than we're used to for these movies. And uh, I thought it was an interesting take, especially how the cockpit is designed, but it still has the little shoulder things and the wings and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I, I thought it was nice. Let's go ahead and open it from the bottom. I don't have the Blitzwing, so I can't really compare this to that, unfortunately. But still, you know, Starscream is very nice. All right, let's go ahead and bring him out of the package. I mean, we already did that, so well, I don't know why I explained that. But uh, we're going to put the package off to the side, and there is the backdrop, a nice backdrop of the Cybertronian scene, which it sounds like we're going to get a lot more of this, because if the rumors for upcoming Transformers is true, then we're going to get a lot of Bumblebee movie characters. So, uh, yeah, there is the Starscream. We're going to take out his little blaster gun weapon thingy. We're going to take out the legs, like so, and then this, and then the arms. Have another strap that is really hard to get at, so let's go ahead and do that. And then, are the wings attached to something? Yes, they are. So, we got to be a little careful with that. There we go. And there is the Starscream out of the package. That came out pretty well. And then it's got a plastic insert right there. And uh, he does look very nice in the robot mode, I will say that. Uh, do the wings adjust? Yes, they do. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, he's also got rubber bands around the blaster null ray thingies that aren't really null rays, but whatever. Or are they? I don't know if they are, actually. I should probably check for that, but uh, whatever. It's got rubber bands, so that helps secure it. It's uh, a little loose. I'm not a big fan of those null rays, but uh, they're there. Let me lower the camera just a bit so that you can actually see what's going on. Uh, let's go ahead and take out the other rubber band. I think that might be the reason why they're loose is because the rubber band seem to stress uh, the joint because it kind of warps it as it's bringing it down. I I've noticed sometimes it will do that, but uh, there is the Starscream out of the package. He does look very nice. The legs look pretty good. They're kind of bulky. I love the jet turbines on the side. Uh, the head articulation looks pretty good. And uh, the shoulder articulation is good because it's not... It doesn't have that problem like the uh, Blitzwing does. Uh, let's go ahead and attach the gun. I heard that this was pretty bad, though. Um, he holds it. Not too well. I mean, it still pops off, but... Actually, that is pretty tight. I mean, it wobbles a little bit, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So, yeah, that's uh, that's all right. Let's go ahead and pull out the instructions, because I don't know exactly how to transform this. It's been a while since I've seen the transformation. Oh, my God, the instructions are just super long. I kind of missed the wide ones where it's like, oh, you get everything all in one page. But no, then you have to flip it around. And it's, ugh. Anyways, let's go ahead and take off the gun. It also has a porthole, so you can attach it to flight stands, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, he does look very nice. He looks big, too, because of the wings, so I, I, I do really like that. Um, but you can adjust them if you want. Yeah, he does look very nice. All right, so transformation. We already took out the null rays. We're going to fold these in. And they just kind of click into place. I'm not sure if that's as far as they'll go, but it seems to be the case. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we turn around to the back, and the hands will fold up to here. Oh, that's the end of the nose cone right there. I didn't even realize that. All right, so we take the wings, and we adjust them forward, I believe. There we go, if I'm not mistaken. And then we take these, and they will adjust here, but they also adjust here. And then this opens up and rotates around like so. I didn't even have to look at the instructions to figure that out. Because uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory on that part. All right. Um, I think I did that wrong. I, I Yeah, I'm not supposed to bring them forward, but everything else I was able to get. So, anyways. So we got that. Nice Decepticon logos on the back. That, that's really appreciated. All right, so this is supposed to do something. It almost looks like this is supposed to fold back, but it won't do that. So I don't know exactly what to do with this. Oh, it folds forward, I guess. 
But it shows it going back, so I guess it's supposed to go forward in the robot mode? I don't know, this one just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, we take the arms and with the hands forward, we rotate it like that, I believe. We bring the shoulders forward like that. And then we take these and we open this up, I believe. Hopefully I get this right. I uh, have to move the foot forward a little bit just to open that up. Um, just doesn't really want to move out of the way, but I'm seeing that that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Ah, there we go. Okay, got it. There we go. Okay, so I got that. And then what else are we supposed to do? Okay, so the wing comes up. And uh, does this go somewhere? This looks like it's supposed to fold. Yeah, this folds out like so. Um, it seemed like some of the paint got stuck on the other side. So that's why I got jammed. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... These are supposed to flip up, I believe. Is uh, right here, I believe. And they come up like so. And they come up like so. And it almost looks like they're supposed to attach to something, but there's nothing really to attach at the moment. Uh, oh, okay. Because these are supposed to fold out all the way now. Okay. And then this tabs into here. Okay. It's a very light tabbing support system. It's not really much of anything, but... Uh, yeah, there's that. And then... The feet are supposed to come up, I believe? Yes, okay. I was a little confused by that as well. And let's see. Okay, so these will rotate in like so. And then these will fill in the gaps here. I do like the fact that it's got that little panel right there. And then and now we have something like that. <laughs> that looks a little weird. Um, let's see. Doesn't really feel like we've done much now. Uh, it's got other panels right here that will close down like so. And then this whole entire section should come up. This, this should come up like that. And then now we bring the wings forward. And then show something like this. And this I'm really confused by. It seems like we open this entire thing up like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got that. And then, oh, jeez, it just goes all over the place in these instructions. Okay, so these, what do they do? They open up. Uh, which direction do we have this on? It just kind of shows this. It's, it's really weird. Uh, this will fold forward like so. And then, I believe this collapses in on itself again. And let's see, okay, so the arms are attached to something on the sides here, like so. And they will rotate in on themselves. Uh, we do the same thing to the other side. Maybe it's easier if we fold out the wings. And they click into here, and then they fold out like that. Okay, so now we have something like this. Okay, what's next? What is next? We're gonna take tabs and do something. I'm trying to figure out what tab that is. Uh, t -t 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 -t. I see the hand right there, but it doesn't really show exactly where that tab is. Or at least it, it's really tricky to figure out exactly where that is. Um, yeah, I, I have no clue what's going on here. This is just weird. Um, that looks like the thigh. So maybe it's under... Okay, it's underneath here, I believe? I don't know, it's just... It's really weird. Um, okay, yeah, I, I see the tab, but I think this is... is it, does this just stay there? It, it looks like this comes up, and then these two halves will click into place. But you can't really do that now because you gotta move this out of the way. Or maybe you can. <laughs> okay, and then this will collapse down into here like so. 
So now we got this. So that folds down to there. And it seems like we've got mostly everything correct. Uh, this is supposed to tab into place. And it doesn't really want to, though. I know it's supposed to because I see the tabs. Maybe that's what it was supposed to click. Okay, there we go. So I got that. And then the arms, I guess, fold back. They look like maybe they go here. I don't know, it's just, it's really confusing because this isn't a traditional alt mode of any kind. It, it's, it, it's a weird thing to look at, so it's just very tricky to figure out, okay, this goes here, that goes there. Uh, I guess it goes like that, and then these will tab underneath here. Uh, this will tab here, like so. And now we have this. Uh, this looks like it's supposed to come out a little bit further than that. It's, it, I don't know, these wings look awkward to me. I don't know if that's the intention. Actually, that might be the intention. But I don't know, it still looks awkward. Uh, this is supposed to connect together. So we'll keep it like that. And then these null ray things are supposed to go... Where are they supposed to go? In the same portholes? Uh, yeah, this, I think it's the same portholes that they were on. So, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they're supposed to tab to something because it's got a tab right there. Oh, it tabs right there. Okay, I see it now. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, is that, yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. That is a weird looking alt mode. That is a weird looking jet. But I kind of like it, but it is definitely messy. I don't know why I said but a, a bunch of times, but there it is. There's Starscream. So, yeah, kind of weird, but I guess it goes with the backdrop. There I go saying it again, but ah, I can't stop saying it. There's the alt mode. Looks cool. And at the same time, very weird. So with that out of the way, I think you guys watch. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun dudettes. And I will see you guys.